Hi, my name is Oluwa Tony Olasunje Daniel. I am the CEO of Atlantis by Eventecture, a lighting and special effects company. I started business last year, May 2016 to be precise. I worked for nine years before I resigned from my place of work. And upon resignation, I told my husband that I'd like to take his um, project management course. And when I got back, we had this heart to heart discourse where he encouraged me to join him in business so that you know how you work and put all your energy in these baskets so that your family will be good and better and everything. And after giving him much thought, I realized that it was a good thing and would thrive. And I decided to join him. Our business is lights, special effects. Have you been to weddings or birthday parties where you see fireworks, pyrotechnics, bubbles, confetti? Did you see the Noboligwe's wedding where his bride came in the second time in this gigantic 10 feet bubble? Yes, that was us. We love what we do. Financing. My business is pretty capital intensive. Capital in terms of people and in money. And I got my financing from my husband, mostly from my husband and somewhat from the savings that I've put together over the years. And I am very thankful for that because I don't even know what I will have done. My challenges, I have challenges as regards sourcing for equipment, clients, my staffing and the industry as a whole. Challenges as regards equipment. You know, we have to source for this equipment from outside of the country. And last year we had this forex phenomenon where it was so hard to get forex and forex was exceeding everyone's thoughts. But we were gracious, we still went ahead, we worked really hard and we still went ahead to manage and source for equipment. Our staffing, you know, in Nigeria of today, people want to do little work and earn a lot of money. So you have to keep encouraging them that, you know what, we are building a brand, grow with us, and it's going to work together for everybody's good in the long run. In the industry, as you can see, I am a five feet tall, skinny girl. <laughs> so my industry is dominated by men and it was hard penetrating into the circle. But I am thankful that I have made some lifelong friends. And you know, these days we have learned that collaboration is the new competition. So instead of squabbling for clients, we have learned to like split stuff and get things done. So as regards challenges, we have surmounted and we are moving forward ever so beautifully. Our clients, you know, sometimes you have to think outside of the box to get your clients. Why do they have to go with you? It's just fireworks now. How many seconds? We want to collect all this money. But, you know, we have been lucky. And when they see the work we do and they see how we put everything into it, they come for us and they never regret it. We have worked for amazing, amazing people. In fact, you won't even believe it because a small girl like me, who do I know? My dad is a simple man going about his business, civil servant. So we don't know anybody, but God has been kind. And it's you normal people that has helped our business and showcased it to people that are seemingly high up there. We also have a number of corporate clients. We have GT Bank, we have Transcorp Hilton, we have I Am Production, big production companies. We have live sports event production. We have worked for Total. We have worked for Rain Oil. We have worked for banks, banks, people in the industries. We have worked for um, Standard Chartered. We have worked for different, different people. Where do we go from here? 
So I see a global market. I see us doing international gigs where maybe they call us for the Olympics. We do something for World Cup. We do things, somebody's doing birthday somewhere and they say, you know what, Eventecture, Atlantis by Eventecture, come and work for us. And we'll be more than able to step up to the plate. I have an advice or two for upcoming entrepreneurs in Nigeria. You see, you can continue to say Nigeria is hard, Nigeria is hard, Nigeria is hard. But look at it. Nigeria is hard. Every, some people are succeeding and they don't have to be anybody from anywhere. You know, my grandma used to say, hey, no, I am the daughter of a very humble man and the Lord has lifted my head alongside my husband and if you look at it indirectly alongside my father so i am my father sees stuff about me and he says oh look that is my child your circumstances does not have to define who you are it doesn't have to make who you are you have to determine in your heart you have to purport in your heart that you are going to be a success you know and you don't just stop there by dreaming you have to act on it you have to get out there, do your part, so that God can bless you. There are challenges along the way. You will get tired. But here is what I do when I get tired. I don't stop when I'm tired. I stop when I'm done. And trust me, at the end of the day, God blesses your efforts with good success and favor, which is what has worked for me. Because honestly, I studied Yoruba, Linguistics and Yoruba at University of Lagos. And I did not even know that I was going to be here. And to the glory of God, I am here, I am doing well. And shining my light is giving you the opportunity and the permission to shine your light too. We all have light in us. All we need is a little spark. I am here to show you that you are possible. You don't have to wait upon anybody to give you a job. You don't have to wait upon the government to get things going for you. All you need to do is start small. Start now. And keep going. Keep it moving.